Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please give a big round of applause for Stuart Hosey. I have spent the last seven months telling anyone who will listen that our referendum was the most extraordinary campaign any of us have ever been engaged with. Anyone who would listen, that it wasn't divisive, it was profoundly democratic, an act of national self-determination. And I'm right about that. We all know we're right about that. It was part of Scotland's democratic journey. In the last little while, I've been saying how fantastic it is that we have kept on campaigning. That we've been joined and the party is now 105,000 members strong. That we came to terms with the results while our opponents were caught flat-footed. While we are able to go into this election saying it's not about independence, but it is about more powers, and laying down a marker to Westminster that should they fail, not us, but those who voted no for more powers, then they should not be surprised at all if the public then demand a second referendum, which, friends, if they do, we will win. <laughs> but I don't want to speak about the last seven months, or even the last two or three months. I want to speak, initially, about the last 24 hours. That's about all I can remember, I'm so tired, but that's another, <laughs> that's another matter entirely. And Nicola's performance last night, we knew it'd be good. She's a first minister, runs a government on top of her game, incredibly confident, attention to detail, brilliant. To win the UK polls, substantially, is earth-shattering. <coughs> Tell all your friends, Nicola is a superstar in political terms across the UK. Abony loves what it is she's trying to do. That's great. But the Scottish polls and the sub Scottish subsamples of the polls are even better. They have uh, Nicola stroke SNP between 46 and 50%. They have uh, Miliband, Labour, Stroke, Murphy. <laughs> and and Kez as well, because she's there. <laughs> between 18 and 24. Let's just average that out, shall we? SNP high 40s, Labour Scottish branch low 20s. Those uh, mirror the polls we've had for the last six months. SNP in the mid 40s, Labour in the mid to low 20s. If we do the work, we won't just win here again with a substantially increased majority, which would be nice. We will win almost everywhere, which will be even better. And that's important for a number of reasons. It is to genuinely end austerity instead of the Tory light approach of Balls and Miliband. It is to deliver real power to Scotland way north of what the Smith Commission have offered. It is to not spend 100 billion on Trident and it is to make sure the NHS stays public. These are not just policies which are popular in Scotland and they are. These are immensely popular down south. And I think with a big win here, not only do we move forward powers for our parliament and the opportunity for independence, we also bring some sanity back to politics throughout the UK. But we can take nothing for granted. Where is Willie Sawyers? <laughs> Has Monifif and Kalusti and Sidlaw got their letters? Yes. Good. Yeah. People from... People from Monifeath, Canoosti and Sidlaw, 
the postal ballot supporters letter needs to go out within the next five or six working days. It will then be followed by the introductory leaflet in the week after that, and then we'll be doing the postal knock-up, because remember, there's only four weeks and six campaigning days to go. <laughs> the pattern in Broughty Ferry and the rest of Andy is the same, but I know people know what they're doing there because that's already started. So if you're in Dundee tomorrow morning at the office, 10.30 please, I should be there, there's a job to be done. If you're anywhere else, see someone from Carnoustie or Morrifeath or Sidlaw or Broughty Ferry, let's get the job won. Friends, we do have the potential because why should the polls be wrong for us when they're right for other people? Not just to deliver 10 or 12 or 20 or 30 seats to Westminster, but to deliver an absolute tsunami of SNP MPs with their new suits and shirts on. <laughs> and then, when they do their ties up and stand up to speak, real progressive politics. Let's be clear, Labour, Liberal, Tories, no one will take us for granted. And if we deliver big enough, I'm not going to be arrogant, I'm not saying we're going to call all the shots, but as the former First Minister said, if you hold the balance, you hold the power. Let's have the balance of power in Scotland's hands and make Scotland's voice heard in London. Thank you all very much indeed.